Imagine you wake up one morning and the moon is getting bigger, way bigger. No, you're not dreaming, it's falling straight for us. So what happens if the moon crashes into Earth? Normally the moon's pretty chill. It's actually moving away from Earth about an inch every year. Yep, no worries, guess you're stuck with it. But for fun, let's say something cosmic goes wrong. A rogue planet barrels through, an ancient alien tractor beam fires, and boom, the moon's orbit breaks, sending it hurtling towards Earth. First thing you'd notice, tides go absolutely bananas. Right now, the moon's gravity is what gives us the regular rise and fall of the oceans. Gentle waves, peaceful beaches, but start dragging the moon closer. Forget high tide, we're talking mega tsunamis, waves taller than skyscrapers, entire coastlines, cities, forests, highways, swallowed whole in hours. And it's not just the water freaking out, the solid earth would start to move too. Yeah, ground under your feet, not so solid anymore. The moon's pole would stretch and squeeze the entire planet, like kneading a ball of dough. Massive earthquakes would rip open continents, volcanoes would erupt everywhere, not just along the usual fault lines, lava flooding across cities, ash darkening the sky. Earth itself would start to bulge outward, reshaping under the stress, the surface rising and falling by meters every few minutes. Imagine the ground heaving beneath you, like riding an angry ocean, and the moon gets too close. It crossed something called the Roche Limit, about 18,000 kilometers out. That's the cosmic red line. At that point, Earth's gravity overpowers the moon's structural strength. Result? The moon shatters into a swirling chaotic debris field, hundreds of massive fragments orbiting in a tight, deadly ring. Now it's raining moon rocks, each one slamming into Earth's atmosphere at 11 kilometers per second. That's faster than a bullet. Think of them as mini asteroids, thousands of fiery impacts lighting up the sky, meteor showers on steroids. And then comes the final blow, the largest chunks, maybe a quarter the size of the original moon. They don't just burn up, they slam into the surface. The energy released, more than a billion nuclear bombs going off at once. To put that in perspective, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, about 10 kilometers wide. Well, the moon, over 3,400 kilometers across, 300 times bigger, millions of times more energy. The kinetic energy alone would heat Earth's surface to over 5,000 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of the sun, enough to vaporize solid rock into gas, not just melt it, literally turn it into plasma. The oceans boiled into space. The atmosphere blasted away in a global shockwave. The surface of Earth, gone, reduced to a raging ocean of molten rock, stretching from pole to pole. Life, not even the hardiest extremophiles, the tiniest organisms that survive in boiling vents today, would stand a chance. Every living thing, every tree, every city, every drop of water erased in seconds. Total planetary reset. Earth would become a molten planet, glowing like a coal in space. Around it, a thick swirling debris cloud, maybe forming a temporary ring like Saturn's. Over thousands of years, some of the debris might clump together to form a brand new moon, a cosmic reset button. It's crazy, right? The peaceful moon we see every night, it was born from a collision just like this, billions of years ago. Earth survived that one. Maybe that's part of our story too. The worst disasters can create the most beautiful new beginnings. Lucky for us, no alien lasers are aiming at the moon. No rogue planets are knocking on our door. The moon's stable and drifting peacefully away. So next time you look up, maybe give it a little nod. It's seen things you wouldn't believe. If you've enjoyed this cosmic roller coaster, hit that like button. It really helps more curious minds find us. Got another what if you want us to dive into? Drop it in the comments, we read them all. And if you're not subscribed yet, well guess what? We're just getting started. Stick around for more wild journeys through space, science and beyond. As always, stay curious.